Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today we will take a look on how to create a Telegram bot. First of all, in case you need any information about how to create a bot or what you can do with it, just visit the Telegram website where you can hit API, which stands for Application Programmable Interface and it's basically the interface you can interact with all Telegram functions. Beside other information you can find here, like how to get started and so on, you'll find the bot API as well as a link to learn more about the bot API. Once you scroll down here, you can get some examples about what you can do with a bot actually, and that's a lot. You can see you can have an in Telegram shop where you can order stuff or whatever you want. Some examples how to create your own applications, how to integrate other applications and even embed specialized buttons into the chat feed. A lot about games, social networks, how to build them in Telegram, and a lot of other stuff. So feel free to check out all the options, but for the first step today we will take a look on how to create a bot, which is actually explained here, but we will dive right into it in Telegram and go ahead. So first of all, you go right up here in the left upper corner and type in botfather into the search menu. And in case you go ahead, you see there are a bunch of options which will pop up. So please be very aware of some scammers. You see they even using the same picture as displayed on the Telegram website. It appears as Botfather because you can choose your username freely. But if you look closer at Botfather, there's actually a mistake in the spelling. Also here at iBotfather, you can easily spot that that's the wrong one. You can even see here 18,000 subscribers, this one 5,000 subscribers, that's quite a lot. But please make sure to use the first one that appears here. In my case it's the first one because I already chatted with the bot father. In your case it may end up somewhere down here, but with the blue check mark. So shout out to Elon Musk who made this whole blue check mark thing very popular and the people very aware of it, even though I think he has nothing to do with this blue check mark here. So we will just hit bot father and go ahead. Since I had already a lot of chats with the bot father, created a bunch of bots, I just covered this whole chat history because I don't want you to use my bots and my API keys and so on and so forth. So to get started, we can give him any message. So we go just for hello world and there we get a bunch of options. Actually, it's quite self-explaining because the bot father will walk us through the whole process and provides us all the different options we can choose from. We can delete an existing bot, we can change a name of an existing bot, and we can change settings and so on and so forth. But now we first of all need to create a new bot. And so we can just click here, or we can also use down here the text field, type in slash, and then you get all the options, all the commands you can choose from, and new bot is the one we wanna go for. So all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot, which we will do for sure. So let's try Blueprint IoT. And now we need to select the username for the bot, which needs to end with bot. That's basically for security reasons. So everyone out there who is communicating with your bot is at every time aware that it's a bot and not a human. So that's a fundamental security feature to have this kind of separation between humans and bots for everyone transparent to know it every single time. So we will just go for Blueprint IoT bot. And that was very easy. The name was still available, lucky for us. So done, congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at telegram.me slash Blueprint IoT bot. And we can go ahead. The bot father provides us our API token. So that's the one we need to insert in our communication in case we write our own code, use a library on an Arduino or use it in Node-RED as you can find in the next video in this playlist or I will link it as well up here. So that's basically all you need to know. You should write down your bot name of course and your API token. So the bot is created but there's one more thing we should do in case we want to communicate with it via Node-RED or any other library. So once more we go down and type a command. So we go for slash and then we can scroll down a bit and there we find set privacy. And that's basically what messages does your bot see in groups. And that's what we wanna change. Since I have a bunch of bots, I have to choose the right one. And here we go. I've chosen Blueprint IoT bot and now I can enable or disable. So let's clarify what's the difference and why we're doing it. If we press enable, your bot will only receive messages that either start with the slash symbol 
or mentioning the bot by the username. So in this case, the bot will only receive messages that are directly directed to him. If we disable the mode, your bot will receive all messages that people send to groups. Currently it's enabled, so it's privacy mode. So in case there's a human to human communication in a group, only the humans can read it and the bot can't read it. But in case you want to have something automated and we want to trigger some action in case some command or whatever is mentioned in the group, we should be able to listen to everything. So that's a downside for the privacy thing. In case a human communicates to a human, the bot can listen as well. But since we will use it in a group where we will point out that a bot is part of this group and can listen to everything that's going on in this group, I think that's fine. Just make sure to let everyone know and don't add some bots to a group without telling someone. So also here we get this in chat active buttons where we can press enable or disable. So we press disable and now here we go without forcing the users to mention the bot every time. I think from a user perspective, from a user interface perspective, that's much easier. Of course, if you're talking about privacy, there may be a different opinion, but if you're building an IoT application, it's much more easy. In my experience, users always struggle with, oh, which, what, what was the command to type or whatever. So for the ease of using your application, disabling the privacy mode is definitely the easier one. In case you want to make really sure that privacy is the, high, the highest level, of course you can enable it and skill your users that they always have to mention the bot. So our bot is now ready to go. Let's check it out. We can just press the link here, telegram slash blueprint IoT. And there we go. We can start a bot chat with our bot course he won't answer because we haven't set up any kind of response pattern or whatever but that's something we will do in our next videos so in case you're interested in how to build a chatbot or how to build an iot application involving telegram maybe transmitting sensor data to a telegram chat or transmitting pictures even from a raspberry pi into a telegram chat or whatever make sure to be subscribed our next video will be about how to connect telegram to node red so thanks for watching and see you next time.